Okay, so we're going to move on to integration by parts. We've looked at integration by substitution, and now uh, with by parts, we're looking at finding a reverse process for the product rule this time. Last time it was a reverse process for the chain rule. And with the product rule, um, obviously we're going to have to have, um, when we're integrating, a product of functions. And in this case, we're going to learn how to integrate something like x e to the x, or x sine x, or x cos x, or x log x for that matter. Okay, So that's the type of integral that we're looking at. And what we need to know is that in the formula booklet uh, for AQA, uh, there is the actual integration by parts formula. It's not named that way, but it is under the integration section. And it tells you that the integral of uh, u dv by dx is equal to uv take away the integral of v du by dx dx. So this is what's given to us. Now it's not a particularly nice looking formula. However, it is pretty much a plug in and crank the handle type of uh, process. So there isn't really that much difficulty in applying it, although you do have to watch out for negative signs a lot of the time. Okay, so, um, so let's compare what we have here. Look at the x e to the x and the fact that we've got u dv by dx. Actually, I've missed a bit out. That should be dx there as well. Okay, u dv by dx dx. Um, so you can see that there is a u and a dv by dx. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean the order that the x would be the u and the e to the x is the dv by dx. This is not the case, okay? The order here doesn't matter. So the u could be the e to the x if we wanted to. And it's all about making the correct choice. Now the way best to remember how we're going to choose which is which and which we're going to choose as u. So to choose u, we follow the late rule. So L A T E. So if you spot a logarithm is in the integrand, then that should be your u before anything else. If there are no logarithms, then check to see if there's any algebra. So any single x's or x squareds, so polynomials really, okay? So if there's any of that, then that should be your u. If there's no logarithms, there's no polynomials, then the next up would be trigonometry. And then finally, exponentials. Now, you're not going to get a case where it's just going to be trigonometry and exponentials, because usually for integration by parts, that's going to take usually an extra step that's a more complicated process. Okay, so remember there is a process for this on late. So looking at this, there are no logarithms, but we do have a polynomial, we have the x. So the x is going to be the u, and I always set it out so that we have u is equal to dv by dx is equal to, and then when we've got those, look at what we're going to need. We're going to need v, and we're going to need du by dx. So we're going to need to find du by dx from u, and v from dv by dx. So we're going to have a process of differentiating, and we're going to have a process of integrating here. So we need these four bits of information. The u we've decided is going to be the x. The dv by dx is going to be the e to the x. Okay, so that's made that choice for us. So differentiating x, we get 1. And differentiating e to the x, we get just e to the x. Okay, so that does our first step on our process here um, to get 
the elements that we need to plug it into the formula. So, let's plug it in, shall we? First of all, we have u times v. So u times v, so we have x times e to the x. And then we have, take away the integral of v, that's e to the x, times by du by dx, which was 1. And we've got that dx on the end. OK, so let's tidy that up. Let's make it look a little bit neater. So we've got x e to the x here. And then we've got take away the integral of e to the x. So lastly, we now have an integral that we're able to do straight off. Brilliant. We go x e to the x. And the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So that's just e to the x. And don't forget to put your plus c on the end here. OK, we wait until the very end to put the constant of integration into our answer. OK, so here is the integral of x e to the x. And I would suggest that you differentiate that to make sure that you can get back to x e to the x here. OK, you'd have to use the product rule. Right, so let's look at another example. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, that. I'm going to leave those bits up because this is the same process each and every time. So I would suggest every time you start a question like this, you set out your u dv by dx to u by dx v. Okay. Now, the example I'm going to try now is going to be x um, sine 2x. Okay? x sine 2x. So, looking down our list to choose u, we don't have any logarithms. And the first one we come across is the algebra. Okay? And we do have a polynomial. We have x. So u is equal to x, and dv by dx must be sine 2x. Okay, so then we integrate uh, sine 2x, which is minus 1 half cos 2x, and we differentiate x to get 1. Okay, so make sure you're happy with this, because this is a very easy, straightforward uh, integral that you need to be aware of and able to do, okay, very easily. Um, so, we just plug now into the formula. We've got u times v, so x times minus 1 half cos 2x. Take away the integral of v, that's minus 1 half cos 2x, times by du by dx, which was 1. Okay, so it looks a little bit nasty at the moment, so I'm going to tidy this up, bring that minus half to the front, Put the x and then the cos 2x. So that's that first term done. Then we've got this integral. Now we've got two minus signs here. So I'm going to bring that minus a half out to the front. So that's going to make it into a plus one half integral of cos 2x dx. Okay. Then I'm going to have minus one half x cos 2x. And then I'm integrating cos 2x, so that's 1 half sine 2x plus the constant term c. And a final tidying, just to deal with that second term. So 1 half times a half is a quarter. Okay, and there we are. That is the integral of x sine 2x. OK, so um, these have been two um, relatively straightforward examples of using integration by parts. Notice how they've both been indefinite integrals. We need to deal with definite integrals. We're also going to need to deal with a process where we use integration by parts twice. OK, so um, they will be in the next couple of videos.